I'm doing this. I have to watch how I say stuff now, so I literally had to delete the video twice. All right, so and now I'm chewing brownies. Hold on. Because it just sounds way different than it is. Okay, so somebody just messaged me and she said, do, do you talk to him when he's at his dad's? Absolutely, yes. There's no days that go by that I do not get a text message from my child or at least a text message. Usually, like I said, I don't know if I've already deleted that video or not, but he usually FaceTimes me. Did I? Let me see. Hold on. I didn't tell you about the FaceTime thing. I've said it four times, so, but I'm trying to say it in a way that like won't get my kid in trouble either. Because <sighs> I know even though he doesn't follow me, he'd be following me. So not Whoopi, you know who. So anyways, okay. So yes, my kid calls me every single time he's at his dad's house. Usually he FaceTimes me for like an hour. Um, his dad's not there a lot of the times when he's there, according to him. So he feels comfortable doing that. But I know several times he's just he just goes in his room. Like he's never once like FaceTime me and walked around the house. He didn't even have a key to that to his house. He can't, he can't stay the night there by himself, which is weird. Not stay the night there, but, like, stay there alone by himself, which I think is so weird because in our old house, like, we all had each other's passwords, and now he can't have his computer passwords. I don't know. It's just different, but it is what it is, and I just have to be like, well, maybe he wants his privacy, but he's 15, almost 16. I don't know why he can't stay there alone. Um, I'm getting off on a tangent. Anyways, yes, we talk every single time he goes over there. Also, my child and I have, like, a parent-child relationship, so I think he does feel like even when he goes over there, like, he needs to say goodnight or at least, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that, you know? I think it's comforting to him maybe to call and be like, hey, mom, this is what I'm doing because there's not a lot of question about what he's doing. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. I don't know if I'm explaining that the right way. I wish you could just be totally candid with all this shit, but you can't do that yet, so... It is what it is. Uh, I hope one day, though, I can be an advocate for people for what is not normal in a marriage and what is because two years worth of asking questions like, why are there holes in our attic? And now, you know, we see. We were writing about the divorce inventory that you have to do and that it's a kick in the face. And that is definitely correct. It is. But honestly, I don't care. Literally, I don't care. Just get away from me. Leave me alone. I don't care. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please, please. That's it. Like, you know, it's crazy too. Like, originally the judge said he could take like 14 things out of our house. And he definitely took, filled up his entire house. Then told me the girl that I named my store after helped him decorate his new house with my shit. Like, oh, <laughs> you went on that one. That pissed me off real bad. I shouldn't even admit that, but it's true. With books that Shay gave me. Literally, like, you can see them right when I dropped my kid off. They're right inside the entryway door. And I'm like, they don't get in trouble for that shit. Like, literally, he did exactly what she said not to do. And he just gets away with it. But, oh, my God, if I make my kid stay home the night before. But if I, like, keep my kid at home the night before he goes to mission trip because he has no tools packed or anything for him and my kid's nervous and doesn't want to be sent over there or like during a big project then I get drugged back to court for it but thank god both times I didn't get in trouble but it still cost me thousands of dollars for no reason which is completely fucking ridiculous like I'm just trying to be a good parent like if he called me and was like hey sis I think you could polish up in some areas I'd be like tell me whatever you tell me I could do better as a parent is better for that kid upstairs and so like hell yes the closer to doing it right i can get the better but it just is mind-blowing to me how these men just get away with whatever they want like i don't know maybe it's women too i don't know i've never been in this situation with one but i just feel like don't we have to follow the rules like i'm following the damn rules and the shitty part is she's not gonna think i'm telling the truth and the fact is y'all all know i will always do that hold on this part is important to me so this is what i've been thinking a lot lately like, I know you guys know I'm telling the truth and everything I say because you've been here for years. So there's a couple people that are like brand new here, but about 25,000 of y'all have been here for a while. So I would say a good 18,000 of y'all have been here for more than five years because my Instagram has been private. So anyways, that being said, I know y'all know I'm telling the truth, but the judge is not going to believe that I'm telling the truth every time. And the part that pisses me off is that I did play by the rules and like she's going to be looking to me in my head for some for me to lie about something and there's nothing. Like I already know if they say something, I already know they know the answer, so I'm not about to get my ass in trouble and lie about nothing. But I'm like, god, do does the judge really think there is somebody out there who will honestly tell the truth about every single thing or does she think everyone lies? Cuz 
my friend was telling me like, no, she thinks everyone lies. And I'm like, God, it sucks. It's just, I'm not going to do it. Hey, somebody sent me a DM in response to any of these stories where I'm wearing this outfit because I recorded some videos and I can't post them yet. So, but I'm going to later on. Like they tell, it was like the end part of a story, but it, I want to just timestamp for today because that was my like real emotion talking about it. And I just want it timestamped that I said it today so that later on it's happened today, not just then too. So anyways, uh, I know you probably don't, most of y'all are like, what the fuck is she saying? Some of y'all totally get it. So just comment back to that last story. Anyways, moving on from that. We should have like a big divorce meetup for all the divorced women so we can all sit in a room and like just talk about our experiences because it is like so 